an interview for my PBS program, I sat down with Hamas leader Khalid Mashal in Doha, Qatar. That is where he lives in exile. And I asked him about charges that Hamas uses Palestinian deaths to sway world opinion against Israel. This is former President Bill Clinton. Quote, Hamas was perfectly well aware of what would happen if they started raining rockets on Israel. They fired a thousand of them, and they have a strategy designed to force Israel to kill their own civilians so the rest of the world will condemn them. That's President Clinton, not an Israeli, a man who worked hard to create peace between Palestinians and Israelis. With all due respect to Mr. Clinton, unfortunately, the world doesn't want to blame the Israelis. Why do you call for security for Israel? And why do you call for lifting the siege and stopping the occupation of the Palestinians? Why do you give the right to live for the Palestinians as the other uh, nations? Uh, it, this is actually the last occupation in the world. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that you can solve this by violence? Do you believe you can solve this with a military power? Is this going to end because one side is militarily going to defeat the other? In our culture as Arabs and Muslims, uh, we have uh, a prophet saying, uh, the prophet, peace be upon him, said uh, the prophet uh, had two choices and he followed the easiest choice. That means we ought to follow the easiest path, the better path. As a Palestinian, I want to be liberalized. I want a state. I want to live without occupation. You in, the, in America, the American uh, Revolution, was it peaceful? Did you not uh, kick uh, the uh, British out the nations uh, if they uh, if they have the uh, peaceful window uh, to reach peace then they will better because we don't like to kill our sons and daughters but if we don't have uh, or if we don't have uh, the peace then the resistance is legitimate so the world uh, has two choices they need to help us peacefully to reach uh, the state or we will expel this occupation from our land so unless the world will take the Israelis out of the West Bank and Gaza, you will expel them militarily. That's your objective. You believe you can do that. I do believe this as I see you now. It is a conviction. Why? Because Time and time again, the history of nations says that peoples have the upper hand over the occupation. I have a will. I can die because of Israel. I cannot live uh, uh, under the occupation. The occupation is the worst thing that you can ever imagine. So every single Palestinian can uh, die for the next generations to live in peace and freedom. Some also ask, why are you here and not in Gaza? that if, in fact, you are the voice of Hamas, you should be uh, in Gaza with the people of Gaza. That's the place for you. Yes, this is a very reasonable question. I'm from West Bank. I was expelled, and millions uh, were compelled to live outside their own country. It is natural for me to be there, but the occupation doesn't allow me to do so. You have hundreds and th hundreds of thousands of Palestinians in America, and they long to go back to Palestine, although they are, albeit they are American citizens. Palestinians long for their home country. That's why we insist on the uh, return of the refugees, for me and others to return. I mean, this is fascinating. So what did he say it will take Hamas to do to agree to a ceasefire? In the siege. And siege means the blockade by Egypt. It means having a port. It means being able to, to engage with the outside world. Okay. We'll have more of that interview in our next hour. The full interview will air tonight on my PBS program.